welcome to FCL Accountants Tuition Center YouTube channel. My name is Vando Franklin, the lead tutor, chief executive officer, the pioneer of FCL Accountants Tuition Center. In today's video presentation, we are going to look at the partnership. This topic is relevant for students doing a CA one. Point one under Zika, and also for those doing a degree in accountants or diploma in accountants at elementary level, this will be very useful for you. Before we get started, I just want to encourage our viewers to ask questions relating to this specific question that we are dealing with in the chat box, all the questions asked will be attended to, depending on the availability of time. I also want to encourage our viewers to make comments in the comment section about the quality and how useful this video is. The comments are very important to us because we use them to improve the lecture delivery. Now I want to explain the term partnership. Partnership is where two or more individuals come together to do business with a view of making profits, but the number should not exceed 20. So they can come up with their own partnership agreement they can come up with their own partnership agreement on how they are going to share the profits and what would be the interest on the capital invested and how much are they going to charge on the drawings made. But where there is no partnership agreement, then the Partnership Act will apply. The Partnership Act states that profits and losses should be shared equally. And also states that no interest on capital and no interest on drawings. So those are some of the provisions in the Partnership Act. Now, under partnership, after determining the profit for the year in a normal way that we calculate profits, mm -hmm. then you need to prepare the appropriation account. In the appropriation account, that's where profits are shared in terms of in terms of what belongs to each partner in accordance with what they have agreed to share. So what they share is the, the residue. After all the appropriations have been made, interest on drawings is an income. So it is added to the net profit for the year. Interest on capital is an appropriation to reduces profit. Salaries is an appropriation, reduces the profit. So we are going to work out this question together. Mulenga and Tualumba commenced a partnership business in investing 150,000 and 90,000 respectively, sharing profits and losses in the ratio three to two, they have agreed. The profits for the year ended, the first December 2021 was 24,000. Tualumba is more involved in the day-to-day -day running of the business. The drawings account balance at the end of the year were Amlenga 8,000 to Alumba 6,000. The profit sharing argument provides for a salary of 9,600 per annum payable to Tualumba, interest on capital 5% per annum, interest on drawings account of 3% per annum. 
calculate the balance on Tualumba's current account as at 31st December 2021. I'm going to show you all the workings. The first thing to do is to prepare the appropriation account. Appropriation account, that's where the profits are shared. Appropriation. account. So we have the profit for the profit for the year we are given. That is 24,000. Then add interest on drawings. Interest on drawings is an income to the partnership. Interest on drawings. We have Tualumba. How much was the Tualumba drawings? 6,000. 3%. Represent there is 180. Mulenga, 8,000 drawings multiplied by 3%. That is 240. Total income, that will be 24, 4, 4, 0. Less appropriations. The appropriations, the appropriations there we have. We have the Sarai. Sarai goes to Tualumba, abbreviations, that is nine. The Sarai for Tualumba, that is nine, six. And then now we go to interest on capital. Interest on capital is an appropriation for Tualumba, that is 90,000. That it was the capital, which is here. Multiply by 5%. This gives us four five from Lenga. From Lenga is one fifty. That would be seven five. Total twenty one six hundred. Then this is residue. Residue profit. The residue profit there is 28. 2820. Share of residue. The share of profit. Tualumba will get two upon five multiplied by twenty-eight twenty. Tualumba will get eleven twenty-eight. Mulenga will get three over five multiplied by twenty-eight twenty. That will be sixteen ninety two. After they share there, there is new. 
are we together there? Then now we need to prepare the current accounts. The current accounts for both Mlenga and Tualumba. So we can maybe try to get space. There is space there. We can use this part. Good. So here we have current account. The current accounts. So we have Omulenga Tualumba. Omulenga Tualumba. The balances normally they are supposed to be credit balance, but we don't have any opening balances. So we have the, the salary. Salary for Tualumba. It is nine six, which is this one here. Mlenga no salary. Interest on capital. Interest on capital. We have Tualumba four five. Mlenga seven five. Share of profits. Share of profits to Alumba eleven twenty eight. Mulenga sixteen ninety two. Then drawings you always debit. Drawings, 8,000, 6,000. Interest on drawings. Two forty. One eighty. So we get the totals. But we are much more interested in Tualumba, so we'll just do for Tualumba. So the total there is 15 to 2. Into 2, 8. Tualumba 15 to 2, 8. The balance. For Tualumba, 90, 48. So the balance on Tualumba's current account is 40, is 90, 48. So we can just confirm because we have the, the options on this question. So the correct answer there is A, 90.48, that is the amount on Tualumba's current account. So the choice there is A. So we have answered this question together and we can end here. Thank you for watching this video. May God bless you beyond measure. Amen.